Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Train Odyssey 3 HD. Sorry it's been a few days. Life, liberty, <laughs> I, don't, I have no excuse. Um, and I need to stop making excuses. You know, life, work, sleep, all those good things. Um, when we last left off, we defeated the boss, right? And that was a time. Um, we came back. And we need to talk to everyone, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then go on to that room at the bottom of the whatever floor we're on. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. And let's uh, jump back in. I heard from some people in another guild that you're exploring a cave at the bottom of the ocean. They were happy because now that you've discovered the deep city, they can go on adventures there. So keep up the great work, and good luck investigating those caves. I'll do my best. Did I buy weapons? I did. So we got... This is not where my... Should I put the camera here? I should move it back. Well, I'll do it after the shop. How about that? Um, Macabween, which gave us a lot of attack. I don't remember how much. Uh, I think we were at the Falcon. Yeah, so give us like 50. Got one for uh, Shuri as well. Another for Charlie. Another for Amy. And then we've got Nora here to switch it up a little bit. She's our herbalist. Our arbalist, sorry. Arbalist, not herbalist. Um, she uses crossbows. Um, she's got multi-target hits, which is kind of why I wanted to bring her in. Um, just because sometimes we have like many enemies and it'd be nice to be able to kill them a little faster. Uh, for bosses, I'm not sure yet. I think um, Patty might still be better. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I had to get her armor and equipment. Uh, that was most of my money. Actually, the, the swords were most of my money because they were a lot. Um, but yeah, so we're a little bit more filled out in terms of new equipment and stuff. Um, didn't talk to her. Hold on. Let me put myself back down here. Uh, camera. Yeah. There we go. Welcome. It's nice to see you. Hmm? The proprietor of our branch office in the deep city. Did she do something? She's my sister and a bit of a fool, as you've seen. <laughs> She's drawn to the flamboyant and the ostentatious. She has a pretty face, but a shallow mind. Yeah, says you, okay. Keep an eye on her. I don't want to see her mismanaging the business on the ocean's floor. Okay, okay. Hello. I am welcoming you. Are you in the moodings for something to eat or drink today? Say, have you been checking the message board regularly? The the Dive Guild is starting to be famous. The Butterfly, oh my god, Butterfly Bistro is proud to serve you. Um. Hi, Toma. Ah, long time no see. Thanks to you guys, I can go off and search a new treasure. So relax, I ain't gonna catch anything off you today. Ask me anything you want. Ask about the egg. The scale, the claw. Oh, shop I you got there. This is called the round egg shell. Belong to a dragon egg. Pretty sure I've already gotten those. Kinda downplayed it a little, but frankly, dragons are amazing. If you want one of these, you gotta avoid breaking its shell. You get the picture, right? Don't tell anyone about it, okay? It's our little secret. Okay, maybe I didn't. Like, let it wake up? What do you mean? Don't let it wake up? Uh, hey there, it's been a while. I hear tell that the path to the lava cavern's been opened. So, seen any dragon eggs? The magma makes it a popular spot for dragons to breed their young. Those eggs hatch into dragon pups, but if you aren't careful, they'll start calling for their mama. Oh god. Ah, uh, crass explorers who pick on monster kids and get toasted by their parents are asking for it. That's fair. Do I have any to report? Oh, I do. Wishing on a branch. Welcome back. How did it going? Oh, so it really exists. So this is what she was talking about. So shiny. I am sure this will make Belle happy. Maybe a knight on a flying horse will come for her. I doubt he'd be able to take her away, though. I mean, Belle's lived such a sheltered life that she weighs as much as a bell tower. Damn, girl, no. She'll probably have to lose some weight before she can even get out of her room. 
girl, I don't like you anymore. Never mind. That just took all my respect for you and fucking tossed it out the window. Uh -huh. Well, this is definitely what she asked for. Here is your reward. Uh, thought I had the wrong party for a second. I was about to cry. Um, okay, so Gorman's demands. This is the spear. The tales talk of a legendary Pomona fruit. Dang it, I'm pretty sure I got that at a gathering point. Uh, found only in Armor Road. I must have it. Oh, wait. Didn't we already read these? Uh, Monster Bones. Hidden Hot Spring. Uh, letter in a bottle, too. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there you guys are. The boy from the inn came here looking for you. Seems that kid got another letter. It's nice that he can talk to that girl. But it seems an unknown disease is plaguing her hometown. I want you to help him out. What am I gonna do? Go forth and help those innocent little children. Okay. Hey. Huh? The request from the Butterfly Bistro. Oh, you accepted it? Thank you. I got another letter. Oh my god. I can't talk today. I got another letter replying to the one you helped me write, but it isn't good. A disease called the Green Death, where plants grow in people's bodies, is killing at least town. My sister's a doctor, but she doesn't know how to cure it either. Please, please find somebody who knows how to treat the green death. You're explorers. You can ask people around the city and find a cure for it. Uh-huh. Ah, welcome. What can I help you with today? What? You're looking for medicine? Yes, I have small purpose healing cell for adventurers. Let me go get it. Oh, that's not what you need? Let me guess, you want a cure for the green death? I can tell by your faces that I'm right. The boy from the inn came looking by looking for that one. Came by looking for one. Unfortunately, I don't carry anything like that. Nobody knows how it's caused, right? Still, there are places with more advanced technology than Arm Road. Try there. Oh, we're going. I was figuring we're probably gonna have to go to, what's it called? The Deep City. Uh, it's you, what brings you in today? What's that? Green death. Yeah, it's a, I've heard of it. It's said that it's a reaction to poison from a plant monster. When someone is infected by it, their body turns green and sprouts flower until they die. Sprouts flowers? Oh. Treating it. I don't have a clue. I've never heard of any people who have survived it. Well, as long as nobody brings it here by ship, Armor Road will be safe. I'm not worried. Wait, can I, ha can I hear you? Ah, it's you, the dive. Hmm? You look pretty exhausted. The heat in the cave is getting to you. Stay hydrated. By the time you notice how thirsty you are, you'll be on the brink of death. I fought in high temperature conditions in the past. I know what a lifesaver water can be. Oh, and I also learned how great ale tastes after a long day of fighting. <laughs> Gotta go get fucking toasted afterwards. Hi, Grandpa. Ah, oh, today's voyage. Eh? Green Death. Never thought I'd hear that dreadful name again. One tale I've heard is that one sailor infected with Green Death wiped out an entire country. Proof that the Romans of Discovery isn't the only thing awaiting sailors on the sea. Apparently, people had a cure for it before the Calamity. Oh my god, what is this, a Legend of Zelda? But it doesn't exist today. You could find somewhere with high technology like back then. That's the place to go. Hello everyone, perfect timing. Now I have some fish for you. The boy from the inn was fishing here and he shared these with me. There's an old sailor saying that goes, if you want eternal happiness, take up fishing. Why not give it a try? I can't promise eternal happiness, but it's fun nonetheless. After all, what else could bring a young boy like him and an old man like me together? I don't know, board games? <laughs> Chess? Hello. Tell me, what's the deep city like? My cat visited myself, so I'm very curious. It would make an old woman happy if you told me everything you saw and heard there. That's kind of sketch. Okay. Uh, let's go ask about the green death, I guess. Um. What voice did I give you? Welcome back, everyone. Will you be resting for today? Wait, green death? I've heard of it before. It's a terrible parasite that feeds on human bodies as it kills them. Armor Road's current technology must be incapable of curing it, but there is a way. 
I have heard that a rare herb called Scarlet Sage can be taken from the third stratum. Dang it, I gathered that as well. If you can bring me some of that Scarlet Sage, I can make a remedy for you. Okay. Oh, wait, I need to talk to her. Can I talk to you? Uh, oh. No. Maybe you don't talk to these people when you do every floor. Um... Ah, welcome everyone. Are you here to shop or do you want some tea? Huh? You want to hear about green death? I almost said green sage. Huh, let's see. Sorry, I don't know a single thing about it. Nah, don't give me that sad look. Oh, I know. Maybe the girl at the Twinkling Tavern will know something. The Abyssal King ordered her to keep an inn where explorers can stay, right? I heard that she's the one who treats injured people too. Why not try asking her? Already did. Opening a store in the deep city was a good idea, but having so few customers gets a little dull. Days like these, kind of wish I could go back to Armor Road. Sometimes I find myself wishing the Abyssal King would wander in here to buy something. Okay. Ah, oh, it's you. Are you becoming accustomed to the deep city? We have many lost technologies here. Why, the Deep City owes its very existence to those technologies that allowed us to survive here. We have Yggdrasil's power to thank for it all. Olympia, and even myself, rely on it too. Someday, you'll see the might of Yggdrasil with your own eyes. I guess we turn in the... So you've returned, explorers. Olympia tells me you've met the Deep One, and lived to tell the tale. What you met was their eldest one, a dreadful thing who dwells in the abyss and spawns young. When I learned of that threat as Amarod's last king, I fulfilled my duties to protect mankind. Ancient lore of the royal family speaks of evil presences lurking in that abyss. Our source was Yggdrasil, a mysterious yet wise tree that towers in the center of our city. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil granted us with superior technology. In return, we swore to protect it from evil. I accepted, and submerged a part of Armorode to the ocean's floor. We fight that evil to this day. Am I giving you too much to digest? It is important that you understand this matter. If you have any remaining doubts, then loosen your tongues. Um, you're new. What is Olympia? Olympia is my faithful friend and servant. She is a powerful woman who supports me in my struggle. But that was not the intent of your question, was it? She is not human. Hers is a life born from the forbidden knowledge given to me by Yggdrasil. She moves and speaks as humans do, yet her strength is far mightier. Try and treat her as you would a normal person. Okay. What is Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil is the world tree. May be difficult to credit, but I can converse with Yggdrasil. Since ancient times, only those of Armored's royal family have had this skill. It was knowledge gleaned from Yggdrasil that brought advanced technology to Armored. But it is not necessary for you to believe me, so long as both Yggdrasil and I know. Bro, I don't care if you can talk to trees. You have the right of it. As the only male heir from Armored, I am the last of the royal line. In a more peaceful time, I would have wed and lived a normal life. But the calamity that transpired a hundred years ago forever changed my fate. So wait, he's like really old? Is he also a robot? According to Yggdrasil, that great quake caused the evil slumbering deep within the earth to awaken. At that time, the evil spawn rose to Amarod, resulting in many gruesome assaults on the people. Yggdrasil claimed that only by sinking to the abyss could I prevent the evil from stirring. I obeyed and submerged part of Armorode, along with soldiers who vowed to fight the evil with me. We did this to save hundreds whose descendants still live above. Such is the duty of a king. What is this evil? Every villain is lemons. The king of the deep ones I had you meet. Better to call it a god. For them, that is. For humanity, it may as well be a demon. Deep Ones revere it as it slumbers deep underground. Yggdrasil seals it from awakening and running amok. That is the large tree's chief purpose. Perhaps you think all this quite absurd, but remember what you saw below and try to understand. 
Yeah, I understand. But I have not explained yet why only the deep city deals with this evil. I shall now do so. The evil lurking in the abyss is aware of humanity and thrives on emotions such as fear. Should Amarod's populace learn of this evil's existence, even Yggdrasil could not hold it. And so, the fewer who know of the evil, the better. That is why we of the Deep City hide ourselves. Now that you know this truth, you are honor-bound to join our struggle against the Deep Ones. But first, I should reward your service in traveling to the Hall of Conviction as I asked. Out, take this. It is also a king's duty to encourage fine work, after all. Wow, money! Ooh, Zooey Mama, oh shit! Give me them level ups, boy! But I have a separate favor to ask. It is related to your guild. Hear my request. Okay. No. Good. Tell them, Olympia. Travelers from Armor Road, your home, have entered. Oh. I thought she was talking to us. Travelers from- you know what I mean? Travelers from Armor Road, your home, have entered the Deep City. Some have even passed the Hall of Conviction in the Third Stratum. Going as far as they have means provoking the Deep Ones. This is bad for all concerned. It would be better if you went to dissuade them, rather than myself. That is all. Okay. And so we stand. I hope that you succeed in finding the trespassers and coaxing them away. Try to resolve this as peacefully as possible. I am relying on your skill, explorers from Armorode. Okay. Alright, alright, okay. First. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I need Scarlet Sage and. Scarlet Sage. Okay, let me go get that and I'll come back and we'll keep going. Alright, y'all, we got the Scarlet Sage. Let my cat run away. There we go. She doesn't like when I talk because I talk too loud, apparently. Um, Where am I going? That's the wrong place. Gotta go to the deep city. Here. Right? Yeah. Have you obtained the Scarlet Sage? Please, hand it over at once. Here you go. Thank you. I'll begin preparing the medication right now. Please wait here for a while. Okay. Sorry for the wait, everyone. The remedy is ready. This will help those who are suffering from that disease. No, you don't need to repay me. My orders from the Abyssal King are to help people. Please make sure this medicine gets to those in need. Okay. Green remedy. Back to Armor Road. Port. There you go. Welcome back, everyone. It looks like you figured out how to cure that disease. Is this the remedy? Very nice, my friends. I'll make sure that the kid gets it right away. Here is the reward the kid left for you. Thank you so much. Yay. Woo. Uh, Pomona Fruit. I thought I had this, but maybe I was thinking of a different word. Oh, that request? It was made by the gourmet, Espier. Looks like that bastard's got his eyes on the lava caverns this time. p p m m p p m p m Ah, sheesh. Pomona fruit. There. Are you knowing about Pomona fruit? I hear it is a plant that only grows on B9F. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying it. Espier is wa wanting for you to go pick some of those... The pea fruits. <laughs> Apparently the ants there are fond of it, so too. So if you find one, try following it. Well, that is the mission. Get going and bring back that fruit. Okay. I don't know if I know. Where? Hold on, we leveled up, didn't we? Ow, my arm. Scratch my arm. The... Aha, the, um, what's it called? The 
my burn is like itching because it's like you know scabbing over and i scratched it even though i shouldn't have scratched it i usually don't have really long nails because i bite my nails because it's like one of my anxious things um but i have nails and i keep forgetting and i keep like scratching myself like even my nose i actually cut my nose because i forget i have nails so now this hurts yeah baroonies okay uh what am i doing skill um Spells will be enchanted deal and oh we want that, right? Sucks that it's gonna increase the TP of those. Uh ailment protection. Ailment protection would also probably be nice. Okay. Um Shield. I'm gonna do the parries probably. Uh, healing. Uh, 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 uh. Ba -ba -ba Who heals? Refresh a row. Unbind. A row would be nice. Resurrect. Give me that. Okay, never mind. We'll go back to those other ones next time. Uh, dark ether. We want etheric char. No, we want. How does it change? We want singularity. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, yeah. Or we could do damage. Or we could learn ice. Uh, let's learn ice. Yeah. Yeah, I can't decide. I'm I'm so indecisive. Um, giant kill arbalist. So empowers you when enemies have no notably higher HP. Um, heavy shot is pierce damage to a single. I have fire barrage, so fire damage to all, volt damage to all. Proper form is accuracy. Uh, flashbang increases aim of all allies. Um. I guess this would make her good for bosses. Physical damage to highest HP. Physical damage to highest HP. Like the ratio? Okay. Um. That's weird. We're on a screen that doesn't have any music. So it's like just me sitting here. Okay. I'm so sorry. Wait. Pierce all enemies who are bound. I might have hiccups. Ow. Uh, ignores enemy enhancements. Can we do heavy shot? Was I trying to get extend? Cover HP? No, I think I was just trying to prove accuracy because I hate missing. <laughs> um, rapid fire. Arrows are shot across all enemies at random. Multi shot is... Using skills targeting one enemy, number of hits may rise. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad, but that requires a lot to get there. Front mortar. More effective from the front row. Yeah, see, she's not going to be in the front row. I mean, I guess I could put her there. Maybe. I don't know. I think the rest of these benefit from being in the back, though, right? From my understanding, at least. Um... I'm so indecisive and I hate it. Let's just do heavy shot for now. Okay. Make that very strong. So deep city. Um, forest. Labyrinth. B9F and follow the ants? We have some discovery points to do. So let me do those real quick actually. Okay, let's see. First one, uh, down here. As you walk through the caverns and arrow paths, you stop hearing a faint sound of water ahead. The cool sounds are too appealing to ignore as you venture through this unearthly heat. You're sorely tempted to search for the source of the sounds. Okay. You look around you and notice a few places where water may be, water may be flowing from. One is a small hole in a mossy rock at your feet. Another is upwards, inside a crack in the wall above you. Third possibility is a large rock a few steps ahead, which may be blocking a spring. After narrowing the possibilities to these three areas, you ponder your next move. 
Move the rock? Tire Party works as one to move the rock to the side. Fortunately, all your hard work went for naught. There's only a wall behind the rock. Crack in the wall? Story puts aside the party's bags to climb the wall towards the crack. But just as Shory looks inside, a swarm of bats fly out. Black shadows fly away, but the shock Shuri slips and falls from the wall. That's fine. Check the hole? You brush off the moss to find the hole is large enough for you to put both hands inside. You scoop surprisingly cool and refreshing water from the spring inside the hole. Net positive? Question mark? Wait, so it was a rock with a hole in it? I thought I... That's why I didn't pick it at first, because I was like, what rock has water in it? I guess it was a hole in the ground. Yeah, I was misreading. All right, let me go to the next one real quick. Ow, here we are. <gasps> There's another yellow foe. What the hell, man? Uh, you find a small crack in the wall before you. A person could just... Oh. Oh. It's just a short. Can I go back? Ah, uh, it's a one-way, bro. Come on. All right, let me get to one of the other ones. Yeah, so never mind, y'all. Those other red circles were also just shortcuts that didn't go anywhere. Um, as you'll see, I took the time to fill in the map. Um, I also fought the enemies with my farmer party, so... Uh, sorry about that. I was hoping they'd respawn by the time I got back here, but... Oops. I will try fighting them next time we're here if they uh, respawn. I should say when they respawn, but I didn't get these chests yet, so let's do that. Power hammer. Ooh, is that strength? Smart hammer. <gasps> is that tech? Hold the phone. Um. Add strength, adds tech. Ooh. Oh, we can finally get her a new weapon and just add bonus tech to it. Oh, thank God. I was like, we are never going to be able to give this girl a new weapon. Because they never, for some reason, the mage ones just don't give you more tech. I don't understand what they think I would want that for. Like, she's not melee attacking. I guess when I auto attack, she is. But, like, for the majority of the time, she's definitely not. So, I think we're going here. Thought I was wrong for a second. It's a camp! Yay! Get the shortcut. Thank God. And then we got a door. Um. Well, I'm glad he showed up on the map because I did not even see him there, I'll be honest. Uh, do we try fighting him? Mother Dragon. Uh, I probably should have healed. But that's okay. Um... What do we think? Ice? Maybe? Heavy shots, uh, pop flare. Let's do heavy shot. Ow. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Is 78 a lot or not? Okay, we can do this. Um, do I retroactively predict that? Nah, we'll just we'll just do this. I think Volt is good. Ow! Ow! Uh! Ah! Okay. Guard order to the back. Uh, we'll do a line heal. Ice. Heavy shot. Oh, not Charlie. Come on. Charlie's the one who can heal us, bro. Wait, do I have any nectars? Oh, God.
We'll provoke. Oh, shoot. I don't. Oh, come on, bro. Ah, oh, it's not worth it now. I'm just going to reload the save. Dang it. We could definitely do that, I believe. If they hadn't killed Charlie and I forgot that I had no nectars, we would have had a chance. Hi, kitty cat. What are you? You're just chilling? What are you doing? Huh? She's just sitting right there over the keyboard. Yeah. So sleepy. She has a hard life. All right, continue. Maybe we don't fight homeboy. Um, for now. Ow. Hey. So like, what prompts them to come at me? Nothing? They're just chilling? Oops. A dead end. Ow. Oh. Uh. Bruh. Oh my god, it resurrects with no HP. Jesus. That's rough. Uh. Okay. I can't tell if they want me to follow the paths that make you not get hit or what, you know? Thank God for parry. Okay. Ow. Um. Ba -na 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 Okay. Door. Okay. It's a very weird floor. Okay. I love a shortcut. Thank God. Wow, we missed a lot of escape opportunities on that one. Okay. I imagine the stairs have to be over here. Okay, yeah. I was like, I don't know where we're going with this. Let the ants out. More importantly, put them back. Come on, Nibbles. Sit down. Come on. There you go. All right. Get comfy cozy. Uh, this one? All right. I don't know how to get up in those other areas, but... Rails of precarious... What? Decision? What did that say? Oh, God. Yeah, all right, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crevasse? Fascinating. I guess we'll put this. Well, hold on. Let me put it there. That's what we usually do for teleportation. Or movement, I guess. Okay, that's fun. I like that. Walking down the hallway, nothing to see but lava. 
Ooh, it's very funky. As you walk down the narrow paths of the lava cavern, you find a thin rock jutting out. Looking closely, you see that the rock is adorned with clearly man-made decorations. However, the stone has nothing to do with your current task, so you leave it be and walk away. Okay. I should probably label it. Hold on. Uh. Stone? Why can't I spell? Stone. Okay. Sure. Why not? I gotta remember to check the... Oh, I almost said water. Check the lava. Oh, for interaction points. Oh my god, it's a flame lizard. Uh, get rid of the mushroom first, I guess. Uh, ice. Hey. Do it again. Ow. Okay. Flame Wizard has no chance. Dino Calcineus. Calc <laughs> the word. Okay. It's a very intricate floor. Okay. Oh. Get away, you stupid lizard! Huh? Oh, it's a mining point. I did not even see it. I never see them. I feel like I'm always, like, surprised. Okay. Interesting. Well, hey, I like that there's only one path for now. I like that. And I'm glad to be done with the damage floor, at least for now, knock on wood, because I fucking hate that. <laughs> it's my least favorite mechanic ever. Uh-huh. Dino. Oh god. Hold on. Alright. As you proceed through the cavern, you find three evenly spaced holes on the ground. You peer into the holes, but they are rather deep, making it difficult to see inside. The only way to tell what's down there would be to fish around, but is that so wise? Yeah, we can... The center one. Shuri fishes around in the hole to find a potato inside. The potato has a light, airy taste to it, and Shuri feels the replenishing effects immediately. She just straight up ate the potato? The rest of the party glares at Shuri <laughs> for hogging the potato. Shuri feels chastened. Okay. Sure. Uh, alright. That was bizarre. Just pulls a potato out of the ground and bites into it. That is crazy. And also, how? That would have hurt your teeth, wouldn't it? I feel like potatoes are always, like, rock solid when you find them. Or when you get them. Okay. Um... Look, I am mad at a one path, or a linear path. Uh, shortcut? Yay! Okay. Oh! Perry the Platypus? Yawny Puss? Oh no! Whoa. Wait, is it also asleep? Is that what that means? You wake the ice? We can auto attack this. What was that? I saw that once before. It's like a weird slicing kill animation. I don't know what that means. Hello? 
Python! I still haven't used any of those. I probably should. What am I doing? Huh? Um, okay. One of these days, I will play something right. I was gonna say, I don't like how the... They color in the movement as blue. Normally they don't, right? But now it looks like I incorrectly filled in the map on that side. Kind of bothers me. I was going to say, this looks like they're about to have a cutscene. Uh, as you walk the scorching caverns in the undersea volcano, a figure appears before you. And there he is. I'd thought to encounter the deep city's soldiers, but it's only you. Come to stop me, eh? Did I make him British or not? I don't remember. The young man Kudra's manner and smile are both insolent. I hadn't mentioned it, but in truth, the Senatus and I knew all about what goes on down here. We knew, yet we still sent explorers into the labyrinth in search of the deep city. It was all in anticipation of this day, says the young man while gazing at the lava. The princess is at the center of it all. The Senatus and I have fought so long all for her sake. Young man has an oddly far off look as he speaks, as if he is reminiscing. Listen well, the dive. You do not know the truth of this matter, or who your real enemy is. Go to Armorode, listen to the princess of the Senatus, then the truth will come to light. Kudra makes as if to leave the room, still speaking to you. Decide for yourselves what is true and what is worth fighting for. It can only come from you. You understand that go. But as Kudra, as he blocks your path without meeting your eye. Seems you have no choice now, but you're joining the Sananas and here they games. Ah, oh, yeah, I love that. Ah, uh, bro, I was in the middle of something. Uh, I hate when they do that, I really do. All right, hello. How is the deep city? I sent Kudra to investigate it, as well as what lies beyond. But if you're here, I assume you've spoken with him. Wait here, the princess was around a moment ago, saying she was feeling better now. Greetings, everyone. I heard you saw to it that my letter arrived safely. Thank you for that. As a result, Armorode's explorers and some of her citizens have been able to enter the Deep City. I hear that you yourselves have freely traveled between here and the Deep City. As you've accomplished so much, I must reveal some of what we have kept veiled thus far. I will tell you the reason for the schism between Armor Road and the Deep City, the buried truth. Once you know the hidden history of Armor Road, I would like you to reconsider your path. Okay. Thank you. Let me tell you the truth behind the Calamity these hundred years ago. Before the Calamity, Armor Road had a guardian god known as the Yggdrasil. That tree in the center of our city was no ordinary tree. But a highly intelligent entity. In return for its knowledge, the tree demanded that we humans wage war against its enemies. These enemies are the spawn and the minions of evil, the Deep Ones. Amarod's king learned that this evil is a threat not only to Yggdrasil, but to mankind. That legendary king from a hundred years ago, Seyfried, Seyfried, decided he must take up arms against the evil. He sunk a portion of Amarod as well as Yggdrasil to the ocean floor to continue the fight there. All happened just as Yggdrasil said it would. And that was the calamity. Was the king justified in his actions? I have had my doubts. I'm trying several methods to deal with it in my own way. I'm sorry. Seems all this talking has exhausted me. Please ask Flodia to tell you the rest. Who the fuck's Flodia? Are you Flodia? That's your name? My, that was rather long-winded. I bet you're tired out listening to it. It wasn't that much. But the princess is right. We have doubts on what Master Seafried did. Was it the best solution? If there is an evil threatening mankind, then mankind must band together to fight it. That's what the princess said, I think, and that's what I'm using Kudra to find- That's why I'm using Kudra to find the Deep Ones. We can defeat them, as well as whatever evil leads, th leads them. There will be no need for the deep city. That's why I want you to go find Kudra and back him up. Until that king in the deep city. We intend to fight the deep one, so don't get on our way. Oh, this is gonna go great. Yeah, no problems at all whatsoever. Don't worry about that. Yikeroonies, man. 
Um, okay, I might call it there. This might be a little bit of a shorter episode, but I gotta go do some stuff. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. As always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever y'all are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark, out. <laughs>